Hello and welcome to windowsreport.com, I'm Henrik Fai. In this video, we're going to look at how to fix the PC error code 0XC00000E in Windows 10. And here's a couple of methods on how to fix this. First of all, check your hardware. This is always one of the most important steps. You might have a corrupt boot system, you can have a faulty CPU, you can have a faulty hard drive, all of these factors might happen. So make sure to check this and see if this might fix you. The second method is to rebuild your BCD registry hive. All that you have to do for that is plug in your Windows 10 bootable media, so that could be a USB stick or a DVD, and then restart your PC. Once your PC is restarted, enter the boot menu or your BIOS settings to change the boot order. Set your media drive, so your USB or DVD, as the primary boot device and press any key to boot. Wait for the loading of the system files to end and then select your preference and hit the next button. Choose repair your computer from the bottom left corner. Then you should see this screen. Go and troubleshoot, advanced options, and then press on startup repair. Once you've done that, come in here again and select command prompt. Type in the password for whatever account you're using and then press on continue. Once you're in here, type in the following commands which are going to be listed in the description down below as well. Bootrec space forward slash fix mbr. Press enter. Then Type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot. You might have the access denied, but if not, continue on like this. Type in bootrec forward slash with a space between scan OS. And now they're scanning all the Windows files installation. This might take a while depending on what computer you have. Once that is completed, type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd and hit enter and now exit and remove the installation drive and try installing the system in a normal manner and after you've done this your windows 10 should be normal like it was before the third method is to check your bios settings so if cmos battery is down your bios settings can't be preserved. What you need to do is to replace the battery on your motherboard. So it's like a 3V or 3 volt battery, which is like a wristwatch, looks like a wristwatch. And after that, you should reconfigure your BIOS settings and restart your PC. If you're not sure how to remove and replace the battery, check out the article down below. It will give you a step-by-step -step on how to change out or replace the battery. If this was helpful, make sure to check out the guide on the bottom where there's going to even more steps if it didn't fix the issue for you. And if it did fix for you, consider subscribing.